decide if Alabama's new congressional map is constitutional. CBS 42's Carly Lang heard from two of Alabama's congressional leaders about this case, which puts Alabama back at the center of the debate on voting rights. More Alabama lawmakers are sharing their thoughts on the redistricting maps here in Alabama. Now, this all as the Supreme Court heard arguments in the case of Merrill versus Milligan. Now, those in favor of changing district lines argue the new congressional maps hinder voting power of black Alabamians. But others say if it were to change, then they would have to use race as a factor in drawing those lines, which they say is unconstitutional. Whenever you have redistricting, you're not ever going to please everybody. And you're going to have some confrontations. You're going to have some people agreeing with, with certain things. But at the end of the day, it's usually going to go to the Supreme Court. And thank goodness we have somebody that can make a final decision. And that's what will happen here. Representation matters. And this is a case about fair representation. Now, the map includes one majority black district, but black voters make up 27% of the state. Supporters are pushing for two majority black districts. It's now in the hands of the Supreme Court. A decision in this case is expected sometime in the spring. Reporting in the studio tonight, Carly Lang, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.